Welcome Space Brothers to the Chiliad Mystery Guru channel. I'm Guru Tad, the Hermit Sage of Mount Chiliad. My first proper video. Today I'm very proud to be showing you how to do this without using any of these. I've tried many ways to align the right weather and time and after two weeks of testing I finally did it. Right, let's get straight into it. Hopefully we all know by now about the Bigfoot versus Beast Hunt in single player. For those that don't, there's a link in the description explaining the details of it. The requirements are completing the last one Bigfoot mission and collecting all 27 payout plants. Then, starting on Sunday between 5.30am and 8am and each following morning between the same time until Saturday we need to find these 7 golden Bigfoot payout. Each one is in a different location around the base of Mount Chiliad and will only spawn in that location on a certain day and time with the correct weather. We collect them from Sunday to Saturday in the correct order the dead body will appear next to the plant during the trip. A growl can be heard from the beast which will lead you to the location of the next plant. Everyone thought this had to be done in the same week in game. I had Guru Jared check with mobs and you can actually collect one day and then miss a week and eat the following day then. Having the time, weather and location all coincide without using cheats really isn't an easy task. And for a while now people believe the only way to do it was by using cheats or mobs if you're on PC. Also, without using cheats, there are a few ways that we know of to manipulate the weather on consoles. But anyway, I finally managed to find a way to control the weather, guys. I can get the times right for each payout without using a single cheat or mod or anything. I'm going to show you how to do all this in the same in-game week, even though it's not required. As I mentioned before, we can actually skip a week. As long as you collect the days in order, then the time that passes in between doesn't matter. Let's talk about the weather. Natural fog in the game seems to be quite rare and will almost never fall on the right day and time that you need. Even repeatedly in a save bed also seems to only pass time and not advance the weather. But there is this little known trick that after dying and respawning at the hospital the weather will be different. At first we thought this was just advancing to the next weather type in the cycle and I used this technique of repeatedly killing myself to change the weather and then rush to a save bed to advance to the correct day and time. This worked but made my death count rise rapidly. And a lot of the time I'd arrive just as the fog was clearing. And after a few tests I suddenly realised that respawning the weather wasn't just going to the next in line, it was actually loading random ones. With this in mind I devised what I'm calling the load and die no cheat weather manipulator. Yeah, okay, the name needs some work, but basically what we're going to do is load a save game and instantly kill ourselves. The shift done at a certain time will load you at the hospital you're closest to at 7am with a random weather, which is perfect. But it only leaves us one hour in game to get from the hospital to the plant, which is about two minutes in real time. So choosing the correct hospital and correct route is important to make it there before 8am. I'd also like to mention that the plant will stay spawned past 8am as long as you're close by before then. Right, so without any more messing around, I'm going to show you the routes I took and the times to save the game ready for the next day. I tried many different ways but these are just what got me there in time. Firstly, once you have the last one mission complete and have collected all 27 normal payouts and have a good few explosives of some sort for killing yourself, I'm going to switch to Franklin for his driving ability and get the day and time to Saturday at about 7pm and close to the Polito Bay Hospital at the north end of the map. Then quick save the game with your chosen explosives equipped. Now you're going to aim at the floor or the wall closest to you and blow yourself up. This will then load you at 7am on Sunday morning at the Polito Bay Hospital with a random weather type. If it isn't foggy, like really foggy, not just smoggy, and you need to load the quick save you just made on Saturday and repeat the process. 
So you respawn at 7am on Sunday morning with Big Fog. At this point it's a quick dash to the nearest vehicle around and a quick drive to the Sunday payout location before 8am. Once you arrive you want to start the trip as soon as possible, check that the dead body is close by, have some fun being Bigfoot, practice following the beast calls around. When you're finished, end the trip and quick save the game. Saving often helps to go back a step in case anything goes wrong. Then you want to kill yourself again to respawn you at the Polito Bay Hospital at around 7pm. Then another quick save. So now we're at 7pm on Sunday near Polito. The load and die technique is ready to be used again until you respawn at 7am on Monday with foggy weather. Now we grab a vehicle again and shoot to the Monday plant. Do the trip, check the body, end the trip and save. And die and save again and repeat the load and die over and over. I'm going to show you the routes I took to each location as making it before 8am could be quite challenging. I also recommend saving the game the moment you respawn with fog so you can just load and retry the run to the plant. fine until we reach Friday's plant. I tried so many times to get there from Polito before 8 but I couldn't find a way. So at this point you want to switch to Trevor and get to Sandy Shores at around 7pm on Thursday and quick save. And you do the load and die technique until the fog arrives, instantly quick save and make this new run to his helicopter at Sandy Shores and then to the Friday location. And repeat the process for Saturday's location also. As you fly away just before collecting Saturdays, I recommend quick saving so you can restart from this point if you fail the body trail that's about to follow. Once you take the trip and hear the bee sounds, they will lead you on a trail of checkpoints and dead bodies. 
Clouds will get louder the closer to the checkpoint or body, and when at the body, the camera will focus in on it. A decent pair of left and right stereo headphones will come in handy here. Turn to the left or right and press the button you would use to sound a car horn to make Bigfoot call out. You will then hear a growl from the beast in the direction you need to head. Once you follow the trail and end up at the plane graveyard, you will have one final dead body that the camera focuses in on. Then you must run to this bush and turn the camera around to see the beast you have been chasing for a week and a thunderstorm begin. Now you just need to beat the crap out of him and this will unlock him in direct mode and end the trip. Here he is in my game on PS4 with no cheat codes activated. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my first video and find it useful, not just for the beast hunt, but also for general weather manipulation without using cheats. Thanks for watching guys, I've been hunting easter eggs, the jetpack and for answers to the Chiliad mystery since the release of the game. You can follow my work on the Chiliad mystery subreddit or on the GTA forums before that. All the relevant links are in the description below and we have a lot more videos coming so feel free to subscribe to the channel also. I guess all that's left to say is well, if long and happy hunting.